his spiritual score. Our Ramadan moon is on its way. The spade beads are ready to twirl. The musalla is laid for us to pray, to make dua as our fingers curl. The Quran awaits to see more light, to hear its words hummed and sung, melodiously sweet to our ears delight, enchanting it is to both old and young. Imams prepared to lead at home, prepared to pray within closer walls. Though echoes change without the dome, for Tarawi we stand when the Mu'addin calls. Allah shall guide us all indeed, and may this month be the best one yet. Rest in peace, O souls who are freed, until that day when we'll all be met. The time is here for true reflection, to help us think who we want to be, to come much closer to reaching perfection whatever this may be to you or me. Ramadan Mubarak, everyone. I hope that all those who are observing this this uh, month of fasting, um, that you have a wonderful time um, uh, and have um, a wonderful time with family. With regards to, to Ramadan and, and the name uh, that this month uh, uh, has, um, there's a fun little fact for you to know that um, Ramadan is named after the type of rainfall that falls just before the autumn season and, and that type of rain is called Ramadan and Ramadan uh, is, is a type of rain that f washes away the dirt and, and the dust that settles in, in the period of, of summer and the idea is that in Ramadan, just as the rain washes away this dirt, uh, the the spiritual benefit and, and the prayers in the month of Ramadan would also wash away um, our, our sins, wash away our bad habits, so that space can be made for for new good habits or for encouraging those good habits. So this month is about um, self improvement, about self reflection. And how do we actually do that? How do we, um, given that we have limited resources during the day, you know, we're not, we're not eating, we're refraining from drinking, um, and similar to those who are in lockdown, you know, we're continuing our work without some of the resources that, we might, that might be available you know, when we're in school or when we're at work. Um, and how do we, um, without some of these resources, not just cope, but actually do our work so that it actually exceeds the, the, um, the expectations of even when we're in normal circumstances, when we have all um, that we need um, at our disposal. So it's about having those high expectations uh, of yourself in these times um, uh, of self-reflection um, and introspection so that you know, we do ourselves justice in, in terms of determining how do we actually make our way forward towards achieving our, our aims and goals? So there's this um, one little uh, way that you can do that. There are many other ways uh, that you can um, reflect. But here's a little table that, that I drew with four sort of quadrants um, to help you map out um, you know, what skills um, you know, that you want to perhaps improve on what skills that you're happy with you might be you know you might want to be more confident but you're happy um, with your abilities to work with others um, but maybe you might want to you know um, do away with with honesty dishonesty um, or, or deceit you know um, and think about what um, relationships you have with your family and friends and how do these qualities or skills feed in feed into these interactions and then similarly, how do your interactions with your family and friends feed in towards your goals and towards your, your expectations, whether you know, they, they be religious goals or your, your goals generally in life. You, know, you might have ambitions to travel somewhere one day. Um, and also your, your goals related to school or work or, or career ambitions. So um, it is really important to reflect. Initially, it might take you a little bit longer because it's not natural to you, but So you know, I, I hope you, you um, uh, use this, this opportunity that we have at home, whether you're 
you know, uh, observing Ramadan or not, um, to think about how you can um, improve yourself a, as a person and, you know, look honestly in the mirror and, and think about um, where you are now uh, and where you want to be. You know, there's a film that I watched recently, um, The Boy uh, Who Harnessed uh, the Wind. And it's a story about a boy um, in Malawi and he uh, uses the most basic resources to solve um, this problem of, of drought uh, and, and the lack of um, farming that's possible because of it uh, and, and the way that he finds a solution and the courage um, and the resolution that this, this boy, and it's, it's a true story, based on a true story, um, uh, you know, the, the resolve that he demonstrates to, to achieve um, you know, uh, the, uh, a solution that actually most thought was impossible um, is quite inspiring. Um, so, you know, it, it's very important that with whatever resources we have, we, we adapt and not just adapt to cope, but adapt to actually do better than what you might even be able to do in, in normal circumstances. Um, I wish you uh, all the best. Uh, and um, see you next time.